Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. So what I want to do in this video is create a network diagram in Visio 2016. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Visio. And now here in Visio, you have different categories or different templates, I should say. And they're broken up in categories. So if you go to basic network diagram, that's one. But up here, if you just click network, and this will give you different network diagrams that are, are that already have templates for Visio. But oftentimes you'll see network diagrams that look a certain way. And so one of the things that will help you achieve that is by using the Cisco stencils. I'll have a link in the description to where you can download these. And so all you would do is go to this website, download Cisco um, stencils, and then you'll get the blue and white routers that you often see in network diagrams. I've already downloaded them. So once you have them downloaded, what you'll need to do is go into Visio, and we'll start with a blank drawing. Let's just do it like that. Now, I have my home lab here that I'm working on a video. And what we're going to do is just basically design this, this lab layout for this next video. Now, I'm going to walk you through that. But when you first open up a blank um, template, this is how it's going to look. So here... It may look like this, but you just click this little arrow here. And now you see this shapes area. You will have to add different stencils shapes to your diagram. So if you wanted to do a business diagram, engineering, flowchart, all that good stuff, networking, they already have things for active directory and networking stencils in here. This is what they look like. This is kind of computers and monitors. And they kind of look standard, you know, but we don't want to do that. So if you add something that you don't want, you just click close. What I want to do is let's say we let's add network um, and peripherals, and so now we have this added over to the left, and this is what they look like. You know they're pretty cool. You can add a switch here to your diagram. That's okay, and if you want to delete it, you just click delete, and this is what this like router looks like that. But that doesn't really look like you see in the videos or in network documentation in books. So what we want to do is get the stencils that in shapes that. Cisco users. So let's close this out. Now that I already have it downloaded and I already have it unzipped, so what we have to do is find it. Left click this shapes area here and click open stencil and then stencils. These are where my stencils are. You can actually down, if you're using the rack mode, you can actually download your actual device to install in your rack. That looks pretty cool. But what we're going to do is just install this um, 3015. So we install the 3015 and this is how it looks. Everything is in here that we're all used to. If you're looking for a regular router, we'll just have to find, here's the cloud. If we need the cloud, here's a router. Let's see, and all that good stuff. Now, what I often do is I do my own shortcut. What you would do to do this is you would, you would go to more shapes and then do new stencil. You do US um, units or metrics. That'll create a new stencil. And so now when you go up to 3015, whenever you drag something over, like let's say I got this firewall, I can actually drag it to my short, oops. I can actually drag it to my shortcut section and it'll be there. And I can rename it once I get, get there and name it to the firewall. And so now I can create my own shortcut of stencils that I often use and I don't have to worry about searching for them each time. So that's how you would do that. But I'll close this out. I don't want to save it. And we'll just work with my stencils. So what I have now is a router. We'll put that right in the middle. Did you see how the line disappeared to let you know that you're centered? Let's put it back over here. All right, so let's, let me delete this. Now when I draw here, you'll see the line to let me know that I'm centered. Boom. It lets you know that you're centered on your, on your diagram. Boom. And now I have a switch, so I'll drag my switch over and it's centered with that. I have my, my switch, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect a PC, so a PC user. He'll be somewhere right here. So this is how your network diagram is, my, this network diagram is going to look. And actually, let's, let's throw the cloud in there. Let's throw the cloud over here. And now, once you got everything out that you wanted, you just go over here to this connected, this connected tool, and you start connecting your devices. So you click here. And then you drag, boom, that's connected. 
that's connected. And now we need to connect here. I wanna connect it up here, but it, it's cool. We're just connected like that. And now everything's connected. And that's pretty simple. Now you can actually connect it with a cable or however you wanna do it. But I just use the connected, connected tool for this, for this diagram just to keep it simple for you all. And now one of the things you can actually do, let's say you wanna change the weight of your line. So let's change this to like a thick red line to let us know that this is actually our WAN connection or something. So you just click the line and then go to line and then just change the weight. So the weight is now thicker. That, li that lets us know that our, it's our WAN connection. And then these connections here, we can make them green. So we'll make them green to let you know that this is actually your, let's change the weight on these also. And these are gonna be your landline connections to your devices. So this is from your, from your switch to your router. Now we have all this connected. The next thing we need to do is name the devices. So if you just double click in the device, we'll call this, this is just gonna be a loopback. So this is gonna be loopback, um, loopback one. And then we need to give it the IP address. So the IP address of this is gonna be 209.65.200.241. Yeah. 241 and so now whenever you move this it moves with it so now that looks like that but say I want to put this on top so what you would do is click this here this text box and what it does is you can now move it wherever so I'll move it right in there so now what I want to do also let's move this whole thing down Let's make it a little smaller. Let's make him smaller too. And you can kind of shrink all this down, or however you like. And we can move him over. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. And now when I move this, boom, everything is good to go. The next thing we need to do is we need to do the same thing for our router. Now say what I want to do is not necessarily put this here. I want to put it on the side. So this is going to be R1, and R1 is going to have, we're just on a basic network to test connectivity. So this is going to be 192.168.1.1, and it's a slash 24. So now that's that, and what I want to do is move this to the side. So now you know exactly what that device is. And we can make these larger so you all can see it. So all you would do is go here and change the size. And that doesn't look that doesn't really look good. So what we need to do is go back here, click that, and now what we can do is stretch that out. So now it looks like that. We click on it and we can drag it down. Boom. And now R1 is good to go. And actually, what we also could have did, you could have did it like that. So R1. Let's just do it like that. I think that looks better. <clears throat> and so now, whenever you double click in, it goes to like a larger, uh, it zooms in. So that's R1. And this is going to be a loopback interface, but I'm going to name this, let's call it the internet. So we just double click it. And then what I want to do, press enter, internet. Boom, so now you know exactly what it is. And we'll take this and we'll move that up to make it kind of center. All right, so now that's that. And the next thing we need to do is do the same thing for our switch and our end user. Okay, so that's that. Now, this is our network diagram, it's pretty simple. You know, we can actually label what ports we want. So what we would do is just take this text and let's say we want to go right here. So this is going to be fast Ethernet. Let's go FA0 slash zero is going to be the connection. We're just doing connections. We're not going to do the IP addresses. We're just going to do the connection. So 
that will be right there and we can move it wherever we want. Let's put it on this side so we can see it. So that's going to be FA0 slash 0. And we can take this out. And we'll just put the internet there. But what this is, is going to be a loopback. So we'll just go right here to text. And we'll put that right here. So loopback. Oh, right. And so now this will be here to let you know exactly what it is. And let's see what font this is. 12 font. And let's leave this at 12 font because we don't want that that big. It doesn't need to be. All right. So that loopback is actually the internet that we're actually using. Not to confuse you but that's what it is. The next thing we need to do is here. So this is going to be fast ethernet FA 0 slash 24. And that's what that is there. Boom. And now we're just going to give this one FA 01. FA 01. That's what that is. So now it's up to you how you really arrange this and how you want to clean it up. But I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. At, like right now, when I move it around, it's on the grid. So if you want to change that, you go up in here to, I believe it's, it's view. Yeah, it's a dynamic grid. Now, if we want to take this off, I can kind of move this around a little better and a little easier. You see right now, it was before it was snapping to a dynamic grid. But if you want to change that, you just go up here and uncheck that. And you're good to go. Now you can move and arrange things however you want but the dynamic grid does come in handy so that's that and the next thing we need to do is name this so this is just going to be um fa0 so adjusting your basic fast fast ethernet port we just do our best to try and keep this clean keep it looking good and keep it looking you know tight now that's everything now the next thing we can do is so we actually can put a header on our network diagram. So if you go up here to um, design and go to borders and titles, you can pick out what type of border and title you want to put on your uh, layout. And so now I'll do this thing. I like the blue thing, but you can actually pick different things that you want. And it actually changes pretty much everything in your diagram almost. That's not bad, but we'll just do with this first one. This first one is cool. And so now that you have that, it actually puts it in different pages. So if you just want to do the background, now you just see the background and you go up here to the header. And then let's call this um, how to configure a Cisco network. Let's make that capital too. So how to configure a Cisco network. And it automatically throws the data in there. And now if you want to see everything you just click your page one and now this is actually our network diagram and this is the way it looks okay now that we have this all configured and it looks the way we want it everything's good to go the next thing we need to do is save it so you go over here to file and save as you pick your location and i'll say my desktop and we'll call this network design and then you can either save it as a video drawing that's if you want to come back and edit it which i will or you can save it as something like a JPEG if you want to email it out to someone or a PNG, whatever. Um, let's do PNG because if you change the, the size of a PNG, it won't distort the image. So we'll just keep everything here the same and click OK. We'll go over here to my desktop and we'll double click it. And so now this is how this looks. Pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. And if you were to email this out, um, they will open it up and they pretty much be able to understand. You can zoom in and as you can see, everything is good to go. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I appreciate, appreciate everyone's support. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a network design in Visio 2016. Peace.